This is Butch. This is Butch's baby. Oswald Bear's Adventure, written by Diana Noonan, illustrated by Brian Pollard. Oswald Bear's Adventure. Maria and Amanda returned home feeling tired. They had walked through the forest path and home along the wide beach. Put your pyjamas on, Maria said to Amanda. You look very sleepy. Have you seen Oswald Bear? Amanda asked, when Maria came in to kiss her goodnight. He came on our walk, said Maria. I remember him sitting on the seat with us at the end of the forest path. Did you carry him home along the beach? Amanda shook her head slowly. No, she wailed with tears in her eyes. I didn't. I must have left him on the seat. He'll be lonely. Don't cry, said Maria as she tucked Amanda into bed. He won't be lonely. All the creatures of the night will visit him. The frogs will sing him lullabies. Perhaps the old owl who lives in the gums will bring him a tasty moth for his supper. But he'll be frightened, said Amanda. What is there to be frightened of? asked Maria. The rustling in the grass is only the little mouse hunting for seeds. The hissing in the trees is only the possum whispering to her baby. The tinkle on the water is the fish dancing under the moon. The tiny lights beneath the ferns are the glowworms shining. But won't he be cold? asked Amanda with a yawn. He won't be cold, said Maria. The moon will weave him a silver sheet and the soft night sky will cover him in a quilt of stars. Do you think he'll be all right? asked Amanda drowsily. Yes, said Maria, I do. And early in the morning, when Amanda and Maria walked to the edge of the forest path, they found Oswald Bear lying on the seat where they had left him. His quilt of stars had turned to bright dewdrops, and he was still fast asleep. <laughs>